unbeknownst to many, Russia and China have been launching daily attacks on U.S. satellites. These countries have also tested hypersonic weapons that pose a significant threat to the United States. In response, the U.S. has taken a strategic move in this global chess game by developing a comprehensive satellite system to monitor the world continuously. Recent news has confirmed the persistent nature of these threats. Russian defense officials disclosed that they deployed the Kinzhal hypersonic missile in an attack on Ukraine, marking the first combat use of this weapon. This missile travels at five times the speed of sound and cart Ukraine defenseless, as it lacks defenses against hypersonic weapons. Many consider this attack to be overkill. Meanwhile, China's threatening stance comes in the form of the fractional orbital bombardment system FOBS, a larger and faster hypersonic missile with nuclear capabilities. FOBS can strike any target worldwide from low Earth orbit, making it exceptionally challenging to defend against. In response to these evolving foreign capabilities, the U.S. has launched a satellite fleet that will track hypersonic weapons. The U.S. Space Defense Agency SDA has awarded contracts worth $1.3 billion to send 28 small satellites into space, providing initial missile warning and tracking capabilities as part of the National Defense Space Architecture. This architecture comprises multiple layers, including a transport layer for communication and a tracking layer for missile detection. The SDA's funding will support the development of the first batch of prototype satellites for the tracking layer, with companies like Cal3 Harris Technologies and Northrop Grumman leading the efforts. The satellites will be placed in polar orbits to ensure global coverage, allowing for early warning and tracking of advanced missile threats. The U.S. has made significant progress in fortifying its space-based missile defense and warning strategy by rapidly adapting to emerging threats. Congress has allocated additional funding to accelerate the deployment of the tracking layer component. This approach involves distributing capabilities across a constellation of small satellites, reducing vulnerability and ensuring a constant presence in space. As any satellite technologies continue to advance, concerns have been raised regarding potential threats to American satellites. Recent observations indicate the construction of a laser system at a Russian space facility that could blind satellites in space. Additionally, Chinese researchers have called for the development of methods to disable SpaceX's Starlink satellites. The emergence of these capabilities highlights the ongoing shadow war in space among Russia, China, and the United States. To address these threats, the U.S is focused on building a new class of defense systems centered around a network of satellites that surveil the world continuously.
Thank you.